Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. Okay, so a uh, bunch of stuff is going on today even though it's the end of the month and it's supposed to be boring, but it's not. So we got a quick update to our unit uh, challenge that I am giving myself. So we're up to 7,906. Uh, yesterday we were at 7,000. 636 so we got 270 units in one day um we started at 7256 so uh we got 380 units the first day and i kind of said i wasn't going to get that many units in one day it's dr urius papers and dr urius papers had to do doctor things so i wasn't able to grind as much as i'd like but i was able to get out at least 270 units I, I will say I, uh, I got my stack of 40,000 battle chips, and I got immensely lucky um, because 135 of the units out of that 270 came from 40,000 battle chips. So two stacks of, of 10 of the regular uh, arena crystals. So, so, so far for two days, we have gotten 650 um, units. So... That is an average of 325 per day. If we were to do 325 per day for 30 days, we would be farming out 9,750 units, and that would be fantastic. But I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I like to average about 6,000 units per month, and um, so we're going to continue to grind through all that. Um, so we got some new stuff that came out today. I do want to point out what's on the screen right now, and that is that... The new season of uh, Alliance War just started. Uh, so we got that. Let's take a look at that. And uh, we got a new Alliance quest going. So we had season 26 of Alliance War started. So I got to place heroes real quick. That that literally just popped up on my screen like literally like five or ten minutes ago. So, um, so we got to do that. I got some new six-star champs that uh, I'm probably going to be utilizing for that that look like they're going to be a real pain to deal with. Um, so in addition, we had a new solo event that started today. We have a, arena wins. And as you can see, I already got the 25 chips out of that. And I'm almost maxed out, which is great. Um, and we got the new Alliance War just started because Alliance Wars just started. Um, got some cosmic advancement going on. Um, so if you remember... The acronym L-A-E-H, that is the rotation for these uh, solo events. So L, level up. A, arena wins. E, event quest completion. H, uh, hero use. Um, so the next thing we're going to be getting is an event, uh, an event quest completion, which is my least favorite of the four um, because it is so hard to get the units out of that. So that's what we go on, got going on for that. We got a new offer and uh, some other news. So let's look and see what we got in our mailbox. I got one thing that was that we read out of this. No, no, where is it at? I thought I read that. Uh, ah, here we are. Community Choice Champion Update. So they're giving us an update. Um, so again, we're going to get to decide apparently who's going to get the um the update you're going to vote it's one of these six thor jane foster miss marvel kamala, kamala khan joe fix it ant man guillotine and agent venom the top two will be selected um and they move to the finals where we'll be able to vote for them by winning voting ballots in a special arena from may 17th to the 24th so they're just telling us about this this was already in the forums so there you go. Um, new, there's the announcement for the new Alliance War season. And then um, we got this Nexus Hero Bundles. So let's take a look at that because I am very dubious. So I got I to gotta get my uh, Summoner Sigil up. That, I think that expires in like five days. So we've got two of these. We've got an Ultimate Nexus Bundle, which is one ultimate nexus crystal and that's probably going to give us a three star for 15 bucks and it's not even a full four star crystal now i'm going to pass on that that's worthless and then 
They're going to give us one legendary nexus, which is going to net us probably a four star. Um, basically a third of a five star. And one of these greater champion boosts. No, I'm going to, for, for 30 bucks, for $30. So for $30 we can get uh 30 bucks we can get 850 units for ten dollars more we can get 1450 and so basically for 1450 we can get five of these regular um whatever the offer is for the next the cavalier crystals so i and we're only getting one of those Nexus crystals. So I, I understand that the chances are tripled, but I, you know, they're going to put four four stars in front of your face, and that's what you're going to get. And and uh, to be honest, this, this would have been a much better offer if it would have been at least three quarters of a five star. Um, so it should have been seven, at least 7,500 would have been a lot better. It would have gotten a, a higher grit. It can't get an A. There's no way this can get an A. Um, but I would give it. I would give it. If it had the the legendary Nexus crystal and a and a full five star, I might give it four out of five stars. But right now it's like one, so I wouldn't even touch that. And then what else we got going on here? Oh, we got something new. Champions are forever. Okay, so I believe. Um, you will no longer, they're just telling us we're not going to be able to sell our champs anymore. We knew that already. But just in case you didn't know, the doctor is here and he's telling you that you're not going to be able to sell your champions anymore. Not that I ever sold any of my champions anyway. So um, it really doesn't sell. So as of May, any champion that is lucky enough to find their way into your team. So as of May 1st, it looks like you're keeping them forever. I think they've announced this before. I don't know why they're announcing it again. I think they just want to make sure that everybody kind of knows that it's there. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to start a champ. I, I never I never suggested or would I ever suggest anybody to sell any of their champions anyway. I think that's a dumb idea. Um, you can always use your champs for something. And uh, they always have these, you know, oddball events like we just had the, uh, the the minty fresh arena that had the doubloons in it, and it was better to use one and two star champions. So why would you get rid of those? I mean, you could you could have gotten a lot of doubloons for that. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't get rid of champs anyway. So uh, we got a bunch more crystals between yesterday and today, which I'm gonna let sit uh, until we're gonna claim that. I want to claim these. And I want to claim uh, the uh, the Cav Daily Crystal. But we're going to let all those sit until Saturday. And then when I do the tally on my final unit count, we'll go ahead and just start popping crystals. Um, all of these kind of nothing crystals we got in here. We're almost at a five star. We're way far away from another six star. So I'm getting about one, at least one or two five stars per week which is nice and then i got a bunch of these i'll probably have two at least two stacks of the supreme solo crystals uh, hopefully we'll get some uh tier five basic out oh i did there is one champ that i did raise i didn't want to go to crystals there is one champ i did raise up uh since yesterday and that was tigra um and the main reason I raised her up is because of her her nullify, her neutralize ability. So on a hit, she inflicts a non-stacking passive neutralize. If this neutralize is active, its duration is refreshed. Instead, neutralize opponents have a 100% buff ability accuracy, which means they can't activate a buff. Um, while they're neutralized, if they fail to gain a buff through chance... Uh, inflict rupture dealing. She does like 100 points of damage right now over one, one second. So, um, the, and the main reason I want that is because we're going to try and do the next quest in Act 6 this weekend. And that is going to be this tricked out champion. So we'll just go in here and I'll show it to you. Um, 
So he's got, I think, the Power Stone. Where is he at here? He's way down. Here he is. And because... Uh, so he's been gifted with the Power Stone by the Grandmaster, granting him new abilities and greater enhancing existing ones. Um, I'm going to end up getting rid of all of this stuff, whatever this stuff is. And then he's got this stuff. But, but the champion ends up getting all these buffs. So he gets unstoppable buffs, and uh, he gets uh, fury buffs, and all kinds of stuff. And I want, uh, I want a mystic champ to come in and turn all that off. And so it's going to be Tigra for me. And in addition, when she turns it all off, she's going to do damage to him. So that's kind of my strategy to to get in here. I'm gonna she's going to be a rank four, not a rank five, but that's going to be okay. So he's an eighty thousand. He's going to have probably close to a million hit points. So it's going to take me forever and a bunch of units. But we're going to have a bunch of units to to blow through to get all the way up here. So that'll be good. So that's what I got for you tonight. Um, don't forget to subscribe. If you have a question or comment, leave a question or comment. And don't forget to hit the like button. And I will talk to you tomorrow.